For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You know, going to heaven is not a hope so, it can be a no so. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ. For Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man comes unto the Father but by me. You're not going to get to heaven through a religion. You're not going to get to heaven by doing anything. Because it has been finished through Jesus Christ. The Bible says, go in all the world and preach the gospel. It doesn't say, go in the world and do good. It doesn't say, believe and go and join a church. It says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation rests upon Jesus and Jesus alone. Your church is not going to save you. Your good works are not going to save you. Nothing you can do can save you. It is through the finished work of Jesus Christ that a man can get to heaven. Salvation has been wrought by God through Jesus Christ. And it's only by Jesus Christ, and that's the name above all names. There is no other name given amongst men whereby you must be saved. And that name, again, is the holy, righteous, and wonderful, beautiful name of Jesus Christ. And yet, man will take the name of Jesus and cuss it. And when I say Jesus Christ, I ain't cussing, I'm glorifying God. And there are people who say that Jesus Christ is not God. He is God. The magnificent God, the wonderful God. And He is the only one that's able to save your soul that when you die, you can get the glory. John wrote to us that he that has the Son, Jesus, has everlasting life. He that has not the Son, you have rejected Jesus, shall not see light, but the wrath of God abiding upon him. And the wrath of God is hell. And I know hell is a four-letter word in churches today, but hell needs to pre preach because Jesus preached about hell. Jesus said hell was created for the devil and his angels. And you will go to hell by rejecting Jesus Christ as the Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. For the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin, that we may... I always mess up that verse. That we may be made the righteousness of God in him, Jesus. Jesus said, I am the Alpha, the beginning, and the Omega, the ending. God said, come now, let us reason together, though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white as snow. The Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. There's no other sin cleanser but the blood of, Lord, of the Lord Jesus Christ. And Peter said, without spot, without sin, you can't have another man give you a precious sinless blood for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. 
You need a holy, righteous man to absolve your sins, and it's not a priest. It's the great high priest, Jesus Christ. God. When we talk about Jesus, we're talking about God. Acts 20:28 20, says that blood that was shed upon Calvary was God's blood. And that blood will preach. It is the gospel that Jesus Christ died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. Visit the graveyard. They're not popping out of the grave like Jesus popped out of the grave. Up from the grave he arose. No pope has arose out of the grave. No prophet has come out of the grave. No preacher, teacher has come out of the grave. No religious leader has come out of the grave, but Jesus, God, beyond religion, God manifested in flesh, came out of that grave three days and three nights victorious to show he is God. He's able to save your soul. Witness over 400 people saw the resurrected Christ. 400 people you can take into the courthouse and say, I saw Jesus after he died. We ate, we talked, and we were with Jesus Christ. You won't say that about any pope. You won't say that about any preacher. Once Dracula they die, they stay the there. Dracula came and they will only come up from the grave by God's power. They have no power of themselves. Jesus said, I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. No one but God has that power, and that power is in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the way. And you're going to think, oh, look what I can do. Preacher, how good am I? The Bible says there's none that do it good. No, not one. You're not good enough. You're not righteous enough. There is none righteous, no, not one. All have come short of the glory of God. You come short when it comes to salvation. You come short when it comes to going to heaven. And without Jesus, you will continue for eternity to be short of heaven as you end up in a place called hell because you choose to reject and deny Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. It's that simple. If I were to ask you, when you die, where do you know you're going? Oh, I think I'm going to heaven, preacher. That ain't good enough. The scriptures say, these things have I written unto you that you may know you have eternal life. I know where I'm going when I die. And it's by the power of Jesus Christ. It is by the power of his death, scripturally. It is by the power of his death. It is the power that he was buried. It is by the power he arose from that grave three nights and three days according to the scriptures. You can't find one place in the scriptures about the Pope. He ain't going to save you. He can't save himself. You're not going to find anywhere where baptism is going to save your soul. Baptism gets you wet, and in hell you wish you would have a drop of that baptism water to cool your tongue. It's that simple. The Bible states clearly in the book of Acts, of the Apostles, chapter 16. Are you ready for what the Bible says? It says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You get saved, then you go to church to grow. 
You don't go to church to please God. Say, God, I'm going to heaven because I'm a Methodist. God, I'm a Baptist. God, I'm a Catholic. There are no Baptists. There are no Catholics. There are no Methodists in heaven. Only those that are washed in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Thank you. Brother, you have a good day. You, you must be a blood washed Christian of the blood of Jesus Christ. And I am not telling you to take the blood orally. I am telling you take the blood by faith. Only Jesus is able to save your soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's glory is not you. God's glory is Jesus Christ. No, it's Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. The name above all names is what proclaim on my lips. I don't proclaim a Jefferson, I don't proclaim a Franklin, I don't proclaim a Washington. You keep those names. And put your faith and trust in the name of Jesus Christ. Again, the Bible says, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Going to heaven and salvation is only by Jesus, not what you have done. It's what Jesus has done. And you're not going to heaven without Jesus Christ. You're not going to heaven with a religion. You're not going to heaven with beads. You're not going to heaven with good works. You'll go to heaven by the work of Jesus Christ, the finished work of Jesus Christ. The gospel is not how good you are. The gospel is how great Jesus is. Jesus suffered and died according to the scripture and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scripture. That's how good Jesus is. You're not good enough. The only scripture that you can do is the wages of sin is death. You can die according to the scripture. And if you reject Jesus Christ before you die, you'll go to hell, according to the scriptures. The only means to get to heaven is through Jesus Christ by faith and by belief. That's it. April 21st, 1987. I received the Lord Jesus Christ. I came out of a Roman Catholic Church and I came into Jesus. I got the life. I got life from death. I came out of religion to life. Jesus. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody else can make that proclamation without telling a lie. Anybody says they're in the way? Yeah, they're in the way. They're in the way of you getting saved. It's in the way. When your church proclaims the beat of it, they're in the way of you getting saved. When you think that your works will please God, your works are in the way of coming to Jesus. When you think you're good enough to get to heaven, your good enough is in the way of coming to the true Jesus Christ to be saved. The Bible says, repent and be sorry for your sin. Repent. It's the old expression that many of you may have heard and may, many have not heard. It's turn or burn. Turn to Jesus or burn in hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. You don't have to go to hell. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. 
step out of tradition and believe on the Holy Jesus. Believe on God manifested in the flesh. Jesus Christ is able to save your soul. Jesus Christ is able to get you from this earth to heaven by what he has done and nothing what you've done. If you are good, repent of your good because your good is not good enough when the Bible says there is none that do it good. When God opened the door to heaven, he didn't have you be the door. Jesus said, I am the door. Jesus said, I am the water of life. I am the bread that came from heaven. He says, I am the way. I am the shepherd. He is the great I am. That caused Israel to grab some stones and raise them to stone him. Because they knew exactly what Jesus said. Jesus said, I'm God. The God that spoke to Moses said, tell them I am that I am. Jesus Christ said, I am. So tell the Jehovah Witnesses to take a flying leap in the lake of fire to believe on the God, Jesus Christ. The devil will have you to believe that you are good. I hear it all the time. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And the Bible says there's none that do as good. No, not one. Your good is not good as a politician's good. And a politician's good is not as good as one in jail. And a one in jail is not as good as a person in pornography. And the one in pornography's good is not good as the one in, who behind a pulpit. And the one behind the pulpit's good is not as good as the people sitting in the pew. What is good? What is the standard of good? The King James Bible. And the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. It's glory to God and high, it's not glory to you. You're dust. You're dirt. You're made by a creator. You are a creation. And your creator today can be your savior. If Jesus Christ is God, and he is God, He's also your creator. And your creator today could be your savior if you put your faith and trust and repent and put your, your sins washed in his blood upon Calvary. You can have entrance into heaven through Jesus Christ. Today, January 11, 2020, set your eyes upon Jesus and not on religion. Set your eyes upon God and not yourself. The only way you can get to glory is by faith and belief in Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nowhere does the Bible say go to church to go to heaven. Nowhere does the Bible say get baptized to go to heaven. That dying thief never went to church never got baptized and Jesus said today thou shalt be with me in paradise 
no church membership, and no baptism, and he went to be with Jesus. Today can be your day that your name be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. And the Lamb's Book of Life is the book that registers you in heaven. And your name is in the book by the blood of Jesus Christ and nothing else. And Acts 20:28 20, says that that blood is the blood of God. Jesus is God and God is Jesus and only He is able to save your soul. It's that simple. You will not get to heaven by good intention. You will not get to heaven by what you think. What you think stinks. What God says is holy. That's why it's called the Holy Bible. You and your opinions is like armpits. Everybody's got two and they stink. And yet the Word of God is holy. The Word of God is righteous. The Word of God is Jesus according to John 1.1. And that word says he is the way, he is the true, and he is the life. And there is no access to God except by Jesus. Now be careful, because there are other Jesuses out there, Paul warns us. There's another Jesus. You must have the right. Jesus. You must believe on God who is Jesus. And Jesus is God to be saved. You can't get to heaven with a Catholic Jesus, a Baptist Jesus, a Jehovah Witness Jesus. You need the holy and righteous Jesus. God, manifested of the flesh, born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah, the king of kings of the Jews. You hate the Jews, you can't love God. Jesus was Jewish. God's people are the Jewish people. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Nothing else. It's plain and simple, recorded in black and white, and even red and white in the Bible. If you got a Bible with, where the words of Christ are read, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's that plain and simple. Salvation rests upon what you do with Jesus. And if you reject Jesus, He will reject you. And if you receive Jesus, He will receive you in His kingdom of heaven forever. Your name will be recorded in the Lamb's Book of Life. That is the heavenly re reservations into glory through the Lamb of God, Jesus, that takes away the sin of the world. You can't hope so to get to heaven. You've got to know so. In order to know so you're going to heaven, you've got to know Jesus. Know Jesus, get to heaven. If you don't know Jesus, no heaven. That's simple. Your rejection of Jesus will be a rejection of God to you. And you won't be saved. 
and you won't go to heaven without Jesus. And you'll go to hell by rejecting Jesus. Hell is full of good people. Hell is full of religious people. Hell is full of people just like you, rejecting Jesus Christ. I go to church. There are plenty of people in hell who said I went to church. I'm a good person. There are plenty of people in hell that say they're a good person. You don't go to hell by receiving Jesus Christ as your Savior and repenting of your sins and be blood washed in the finished work of Jesus Christ. You will not make heaven. The doors will not even be open to you. Because Jesus said he is the door. He is the way. He is the light. And there is no access to God the Father without Jesus even being religious. Even being good. You come to God through the biblical Jesus, not a religious Jesus. You say, what's a religious Jesus? I go to church all the time. I have a certificate that I belong to this church. I even eat Jesus. That's a cannibal. Cannibals eat flesh and drink blood, which is an abomination in the Bible. The eating and drinking of blood is abomination before the law, during the law, and after the law. God has never had any of his people eat and drink blood. So why does your church tell you to eat and drink Jesus? Because they're out to deceive you. Check the ingredients on the mass. It should say Jesus. It don't. But the ingredients of the Bible to get to heaven is believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That plain and simple. Trying to be nice. It was God that was manifested in the flesh. Jesus, 100% God, 100% man. And 100% able to save your soul. When you get into heaven, you get to heaven by Jesus. That's it. You cannot and will not get to heaven without Jesus. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Your eternal life rests upon what you do with Jesus. And when you reject Jesus, God will reject you because God is Jesus. And when you receive Jesus, God will receive you. Going to heaven merits on what Jesus has done and not what you can do. Again, it's glory to God and not glory to man. When Jesus died, he never corrupted. That means he never decayed. 
He didn't stink. Martha said, Jesus, Lazarus stinks. He's going to be in the grave for four days. The Bible says three days and three nights. Jesus was in the grave. He never stunk. When you're dead, after four days, you'll stink. You know why? Because you're a sinner. You know why Jesus didn't stink? He wasn't a sinner. Eternal life rests upon what you do with Jesus. And I'll tell you what the Bible says. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Salvation rests. Going to heaven rests only upon God manifested in the blood. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Now let's look at that verse, Acts 16.31. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Let's look at what that verse does not say. It does not say, believe in a church. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say believe in baptism. It don't say that. It doesn't say believe I'll be good. It don't say that. It says believe on the Lord Jesus. Why does it say Lord Jesus? Because Paul tells us that there are other Jesuses out there. You've got to have the biblical Jesus. There's a big difference. You say, how big of a difference between the biblical Jesus and another Jesus? Heaven and hell. The real Jesus will get you to heaven. The other Jesus will get you to hell. That's the difference. You go to heaven or you go to hell by what you do with the Lord Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Hell. Reject Jesus and Jesus will reject you. Where? In hell. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Those are the words of Jesus, not mine. But Lord, didn't I do this? Lord, didn't I do that? Lord, wasn't I good? Lord, didn't I go to church? Lord, 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 Lord. Depart from me, you workers of iniquity. There's a sin. I never knew you. And if God don't know you, hell will welcome you. The devil will welcome you into hell. It's that plain and simple. I could just sit here for two, eight hours. And just repeat, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's it. There's no tradition. There's no doing. There's no goodness. When a sinner comes to the Lamb of God and is washed in the blood of Jesus, then he's able to go to heaven. And you will not get to heaven without Jesus Christ. You will not be saved without Jesus Christ. You are lost 
without Jesus Christ. You will not appear before the Father without Jesus Christ. Jesus said you must be born again. And that new birth is set forth in Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. The Jewish people had to sacrifice the Passover every year. God, I need, I need a, um, a quarter. Jesus Christ is our Passover. And the blood of that Lamb of God is God's blood. And without Jesus, you will not get to heaven. Sorry. But you won't. You need the God. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Get down. You need God. You need God to save your soul. And that is Jesus Christ. You need to be washed in the blood of the Lamb. The Lamb of God would take away the sin of the world. You need to come to God to be washed. You need to be washed, sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. You are not right. You're not good enough and never will be to get to heaven. The Bible says there is none that do it good. There is none right. No, not one. That means you and me. God made Jesus to be sin for us who knew no sin. Shake your head at God and God will shake his head at you. Reject him and he'll reject you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. God's glory is when a sinner comes to Jesus. Your damnation is when you go in your own work. Indeed. God has set forth two standards. And those two standards are one. Jesus Christ and the Word. And John chapter 1 says that Jesus is the Word. And when it comes to heaven, Jesus, the Word, says, No man comes unto the Father but by me. I'm going to heaven because I'm... No, you're not. I'm going to heaven because I... No, you're not. Well, preacher, how do I go to heaven? By Jesus Christ alone. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. I can't hear. That's your baptism. I'm not even listening. 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. He didn't give a church. He didn't give water. He gave his son. Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life because Jesus said it in the Word. It's that simple. Listen, don't believe in Allah. Allah is not God. He's got a prophet who, who married an eight-year-old. Come on. That matches the Catholic Church and their priest. Jesus Christ is pure without sin, without spot. Religion is vile. Religion is wicked. Jesus Christ is God approved. Religion is man-made by the devil. His name is Jesus, which means Jehovah saved. Emmanuel, God with us. The one that was born of a virgin, of the tribe of Judah, able to save your soul, able to put your name in the Lamb's Book of Life, which is the book that gets you into heaven. And if your name was not found in the Lamb's Book of Life, they were cast off into the lake of fire that burneth forever. Let me use a word that my mom hates. You ain't going to heaven without Jesus. I love the word ain't. Because you ain't without Jesus. You will with Jesus. Now before warned, there's another Jesus out there. They're a dime a dozen plus shipping and handling. You must have the biblical Jesus. The Jesus that blood flowed through his veins were the blood of God. Acts 20, 28. And that blood was spilled upon Calvary for sin. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. There's no heaven without Jesus. Have a good one. You too. There's no life without Jesus. John says, if you do not have the Son, you do not see life, but the wrath of God. And that's hell. One day you'll find out you're right or you're wrong. Don't be wrong. Don't do death without Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shall be saved. Want to go to heaven? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. You want to go to hell? Do whatever you want to do. Do it. Do whatever you want to do to go to hell, but believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Hell's no party. It's a fire. It's described as a place of torment. There's no Bible in hell. There's no God in hell except for the devil. There's no preaching in hell. Unless God would torment you with the memories of a preacher. But believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from hell, saved from torment, saved from the absence of God himself who is holy and right. Don't think I'm going to heaven. No, you're going to heaven through Jesus. It's plain and simple. Jesus alone saved.
And without Jesus, you will not make it to glory. You must be born again. And that new birth is by Jesus, who said you must be born again. One day, death is coming. The wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believes in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. Behold the Lamb of God, which take away the sin of the world. There is no life after death, pleasure without Jesus. Life after death without Jesus is torment, according to the Bible. You will not survive the judgment on your works alone. For the Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says that there is life after death. It's heaven or it's hell. Heaven by Jesus Christ alone and hell Whatever, whoever, whatever, however, wherever you want. Broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many go therein. But straight is the gate that leadeth into life, and few go there. You will not get to heaven without faith and belief and repenting to Jesus Christ. It's that simple. Salvation is simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no other way but the way, the truth, and the light, and that is in Jesus Christ. And without Jesus Christ, your life will be hell. And you don't ever get out of hell. Unless you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. People are in hell today. And will go to hell tomorrow because they have rejected Jesus Christ. They will not trust in God to save their soul. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou 
shall be saved. God bless you. You have a good day now. Don't worry about the koalas. Don't worry about the whale, the whale. Worry about your soul. And worry no more about your soul if you are to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Once you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, it has been settled. Settled long ago. When your name is written down in glory by Jesus Christ, and without Jesus Christ, there's no glory. There's torment. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And those are the words of Jesus. The Bible declares salvation is of God, not you. You can't do nothing to go to glory. The Bible says preach the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. The Bible proclaims to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The Bible doesn't say go to church for salvation. The Bible doesn't say do this for salvation. Go here for salvation. It says believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. <laughs> it's that simple. Maybe not, maybe not this kind of All right. <laughs> Every knee shall bow before Jesus. Do it before you die. Because if you do it after you die, you'll be damned and condemned to the lake of fire. Forever. That's a long time. There is no hope without Jesus. There is no hope in the Pope. Jesus Christ came to save sinners. Jesus Christ came to seek the lost. And without Jesus, you are lost. Without Jesus, you will not make it. Don't even think about going. Don't even hope you're going without Jesus, because you won't. You will not get to glory without Jesus, and I don't mean taking them by food. That's anti-scriptural. For only Jesus saved. And by the glory of God, He has given us the way, the truth, and the life. And that's in Jesus Christ alone. Jesus Christ, according to the Scripture, 
is the blessed hope and the glorious hope and our access to God the Father. No Jesus, no life. Plain and simple. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. And that life is in Jesus. And in Jesus is God. And in Jesus there's hope. And in Jesus there's glory. There is no other work than that Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. I'm speaking about God Jehovah, not God Allah. Allah will fall down and proclaim Jesus is the Lord. Upon Calvary's tree is life. There is no life outside of Jesus. Life begins at Calvary. When you put your faith and trust in Jesus. And only in Jesus. It is that simple. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. You will not get to heaven without faith and belief and repentance to Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins, sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is no hope. There is no chance. There is no way without Jesus. When the Bible proclaims to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? Going to hell. You go to hell without Jesus. And only Jesus is able to save your soul. I'm sad to tell you, you will not make heaven without Jesus. You will not make it. You cannot make it without Jesus. That's scripture. Your salvation rests upon Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Anything else is hell. God said, the only access to me is my son. You can't and will not end up in heaven by rejecting Jesus. That's it. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father 
but by me. God be the glory. Everything else is sin. There is no life without Jesus. There is no salvation without Jesus. There is no way without Jesus. It's plain and simple. You must believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Listen, life begins at Calvary, where Jesus suffered and died according to the scripture. And they buried him, like you would do any dead body. And according to the scriptures, three days and three nights, the angels proclaim, He is not here. He is risen. He is not here. He is risen. That is God manifested in the flesh. That is the same God that said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. God made him to be sin for us who knew no sin. God became sin on that cross. That we may be made the righteousness of God in Him. That's Jesus. There was no baptism nailed to that cross. There was no church nailed to the cross. But God was nailed to that cross. And that God is Jesus Christ. And that God is able to save your soul. If you to believe and repent of your sin. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Your eternal life rests upon it. You can be received by God, or you can be rejected by God by rejecting God, Jesus. music on this video is provided by the devil and his angels. The gospel of the preaching of God has been approved by God through the King James Bible. God approves of these messages.
Rachel. Rachel. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. There's no other way but to trust in Jesus. There are no other means. You're not good enough. The Bible says there is none that doeth good. No, not one. There are none righteous. All have sinned. We are all sinners. Male or female, whatever our nationality, we're all sinners. And we need to be saved by Jesus. April 21st, 1987, I became saved. What about you? Has your name ever been written in the Lamb's Book of Life through Jesus Christ alone? I'm not asking what church you go to. I'm not asking what you do. I'm asking what did Jesus do for you? He suffered and died according to the scripture. And was buried. And arose again the third day according to the scripture. Now that's salvation. That is life. And life is in His Son, Jesus. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So when Jesus says, I am the way, it's not a church. It's not what you can do. It has to be Jesus. And Jesus only. For only Jesus saves. to enter into glory, he'll tell you no. When you reject Jesus, he'll reject you. When the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Jesus is the only hope. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. That's your access to heaven. Nothing else you can do, you can't do it. 
You're not good enough. You will never be good enough. Step out of your comfort zone and believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. How you doing, sir? Man, hey, I tell you, you cannot never get enough. Remember how the word says, your gift will make room for you. People don't want everywhere I go. I'm telling you, sir. Yep. Have you ever been saved? I said, what is that? That's my opportunity. I'm yep. going, yeah. Thank you, brother. God bless you. You know what I'm saying? You know, uh -huh. since we believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. Saved from what? You and Hell. <laughs> And then and they take hell out. Right. Well, what are you going to be saved from? Hell and destruction, because yeah. it's there. That's what comes yeah. with hell. I mean, the Bible said hell is his torment. And then it says we're on hell on earth. I said, no, you ain't seen hell yet. Oh, yeah. Hopefully you never will. The worst words man can ever <laughs> hear is when God says go to hell. Go out of here. And then when you get out of hell, the great white throne judgment, yep. then Jesus will say, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. I never knew you. And then you get no more names. <laughs> you have to go to Iran and you will see hell. Oh, man. <laughs> I hear that. Yep. Before I tell you, ain't nothing like that. You should, I you should have played by mistake. You I uh, just buried mom day before Mother's Day. Awesome moment of God. We, uh, I just buried my wife December 11th. For real? Man, boy, I tell you. But you know what? They're in a better place. They ain't suffering yep. no more. Yep. The Bible says we're going to take on that new. That's right. See, everything no more old. pain, no more suffering. You know, both my wife had cancer. You believe that. Y'all, y'all. Praise the I'm praying for another wife. God is going to believe, man, believe me, he's got you. Because he said, man, you should not be alone. He's got somebody for you. And right now we just preach the word. And, That's it. And a lot of people say, well, no, they're not listening. Oh, yes, they are. Oh, yeah. Because it'll come to them if it ain't but five years down the road. It's like, man, I remember when that brother spoke. It'll come on like a light. Sometimes I'm, I don't know. This is my own opinion. Sometimes I worry. I say, you know, it's a great way to judge it. God may call me back up. You have to hear me again. I don't know. Or play it back, you know. Because a lot of people are going to say, God, you know, a lot of people say, Many of you go to Broadway. Uh -huh. there, some of these people say, well, God, I just never knew. Well, okay, play back, get that guy back. Or, yeah. I don't know how he's going to do it. It's but, there. And I'll say, hey, listen, I said that loud mouth. Someday you will stand before God. You, you know Believe what should with you? Huh? Stick it right there. Right. Yeah. You know what? I, ain't never, <laughs> I never thought about that. I need to get a bunch of them. Get the addresses on the back. And they're free oh, of charge. Okay. Good, Go okay. to free. Yeah, because my church, we, they don't go out. They want to stay there in the four walls and just sit. The yep. word says, go ye therefore. You got to preach and teach. I let you my light go. shine. That's right. Your light bulb going out a long time ago. <laughs> Man, I tell you. Yeah, we've been here. I mean, this is my first time coming out where y'all at today. I had some time off. Yeah, we've been here I'm about glad. 60 years now. I'm glad that, uh, but do you have an extra church? Yeah, we go down in uh, Oak Hill, Anchor Baptist Church. Okay, okay you Oak Hill. Okay. I'm New That's my home. That's my home. Yep. Yeah, we're right on Route 1. Yep. Yes, we're in a, as a matter of fact, you know, it's so funny. We're the old Jehovah Witnesses. You probably uh, visited uh, my uncle in the church down there. Uh, Woods. Pastor Wood. Bishop Wood, actually. Yep. All the Woods in Oak Hill is my family. I got uh, the man, almost everybody in Oak Hill some relation. <laughs> but yeah, let me look around. Bless All you, right. brother. Hey, Enjoy your shopping. Keep on spreading. Amen. Right. Hey, one day the books will be open. And one book of an important. The Lamb of God. His book. The Lamb's Book of Life. If your name is not in the Lamb's Book of Life by what Jesus has done, Jesus will tell you, depart from me, workers of iniquity, I never knew you. Because you rejected Jesus, Jesus will reject you and your religion and your good work and everything you do because it rests upon what Jesus has done. And what did Jesus do? He suffered and died according to the scriptures. And he was buried. And he arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That's what Jesus does. Well, what are you going to do better than that? 
Oh, you're going to die? Yes, the wages of sin is death. But you ain't not going to put yourself out of that grave. God will call you out of that grave. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. There's no other way.